All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to check the, the clearance on this and the tolerances on this uh, <coughs> rod journal. So we got some plastic gauge on there. And what we're going to do is get that tightened down just a little bit. And let me go check for the torque spec on that. I don't see anything on there. Yours is that compression of the USA. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is probably, I've come to look at this one, I'll bet it's a Stanley Craftsman. Stanley oh, that, one. yeah. Stanley owned the Craftsman there. All right. Okay, this is 7 16th, you said? Yes. Yeah. But if I have a 12 point. Let me. You need a sort of half inch dry. Yeah, I'll get it. Don't worry, I got it. The 12 point should be. What you looking for, Jeff? The 12, the 12 point. Oh, he's got the 12 point. Was it in this? Uh, he must have it with him. Yeah, we got it. Uh, All right. Well, I'm trying to find the torque spec on those rod bolts. Were they just in one of these packages? No. What are they calling torque that they use? All right. So the torque spec on these Eagle connecting rods. Um, with the ARP bolts and the ARP molly is 63 foot pounds. So we're going to go ahead and take it down to that. And like the last one, um, we'll go ahead and tighten it and let it sit for a few minutes to give it a chance for those bolts to stretch a little bit. And we'll let it sit and we will come back and check out how the plastic gauge worked. So we will give it a few minutes here. All right, so this has been sitting just for a couple minutes. Give it a chance for the uh, for them to stretch out a little bit. So we went ahead and laid the plastic gauge in there. You can see a little bit left remaining there, and you didn't recheck it. Nope. Can recheck it? Nope. Still there we on. go. Still at sixty-three foot pounds. Yep. Now you can pull it off. There. So. Jimmy did a good little thing there. He checked it to make sure it was actually still at 63 foot pounds. It is. So now we're going to loosen these up and we are going to check our plastic gauge. Our plastic gauge. See, a lot of people nowadays, and they have done this for years, you can use a dial bore gauge. Yeah. And you can, you might crankshaft. You put the rod bearings in the rod, and you put a dial bore gauge in the rod, and you can write the two numbers down and subtract one from the other, and that gives you your oil clearance. Hmm. But I've seen that lie. That's why I trust this stuff. Mm. I now, see what you're Here's, that the, lies, here's yeah. the issue we have with this. we got to take these off. Exactly. Which is a little bit trickier because there's not the studs coming through. It's just exactly. the cap. So and we can't do it that way. So we have we'll to be. We almost have to do it like this, and I don't like doing it, but we have to do it like this. We've got no choice in the matter. So you have to pull it away from there. Where's it at? The rubber shillelagh. really doesn't hurt those threads any. Mm -hmm. There, I saw her break away a little bit. 
Cut. Come apart Looks like it did. It's starting to. Okay, because you, you would think that you could just smack it like right. this, but the problem is you're knocking this down. Yeah. And we don't want to do that because we have our plastic gauge in there. There, there we, go. we go. Do it on the other side. That do her, Jeff? I think so. Nope. Then I'll go back down. There we go. Get a little bit of wiggle of this line with the monster. Um, you got a crack in it over here? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. There we go. So here's our bearing. We're going to be good. I can tell you right Okay, so can you see that up in there, Kyle? Yep. All right, so we have our mark here where the plastic gauge was. Let's see what we got a chunk of it on the crank. Here. Chunk of it on the crank. Get it off the metric side. This is America. One and a half. Dead, pretty much dead on. It might be. Just a hair over one and a half, but you're okay. So we're pretty solid. Give it a tad looser, that's fine. So that was doing a little bit of the plastic gauge on the, the actual number one, rod. number one rod journal. Everything checked out fine with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean this up, and we're going to start assembling this whole other side. Um, everything was within toler tolerance, and we're ready to go, right, Jimmy? Now we can start rolling. Ready to go. Here we go. If the engine gods work in our favor today.